Good morning. So, figured I would try something new and do a little get ready with me slash discussion time with you guys because I was on YouTube last night and uh, I was looking up, excuse me, I'm getting dressed for the day, obviously, but I was looking up um, uh, outfit, spring outfit lookbooks, right? Because it's spring now, the weather's changing, it's time to go shopping. I was trying to get some ideas of what kind of look or looks I was going for. And I was appalled at some of the things that I was seeing. There were so many thumbnails where girls, young girls, and young women who were old enough to know better, their thumbnail was them in their underwear, bra and panties, or um, maybe shapewear, but a whole lot of bra and panties standing in uh, provocative poses. And I was just like, really? Really? Uh, and I don't, I don't say that in the mindset of someone who is, you know, super judgmental, um, self-righteous, everybody else is unrighteous type of situation. That's not at all what I'm about. But... Uh, rather from a position of concern and it's just like Hollywood and I know it's more than Hollywood these days you know it's internet has become the standard for um, for our young women and so what they see is what they're producing and that is this point this uh, I'm getting ready for work and I knew I shouldn't be recording before work because being on time is my strong suit but anyway, um, so have you guys noticed that? Comment below and, and tell me if you've been seeing uh, some of the ratchetness that I have been seeing on these thumbnails. And not just the thumbnails, click on some of the videos and it's like, honey, this is the World Wide Web. Put some clothes on. And I think it's unfortunate. I'm using this, um, what is this? This is not a makeup tutorial. I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm using and all that. But if you want a makeup tutorial, just let me know. But, um, yeah. So, that was very unfortunate. Um, and I thought about it and I'm like, well, what, what godly role models are out there? And I clicked on something like, I think I was also looking at like get ready with me church videos which led me into a search on um, modesty, modest apparel or whatnot. And then I came to the opposite extreme. Um, and I understand some folks just are not into it. And what, I'm ta what am I talking about? Okay, so there was a girl, I assume she's a Christian young lady. She kept talking about the word and all that. She, Yeah, she's a Christian young lady. But she had this thing on modesty and she's a beautiful girl. She's very pretty. She um, she had nice out nice outfits for what she was wearing. I mean, you know, I'm no fashion guru. She she looked nice, but the things that she was saying about modesty and, and what it is and what it is not was off. I mean, there there can be perversion on on two. Um, opposite ends of the spectrum. You have what I was talking about when I first started the video. People, these young girls have thumbnails in their underwear. Standing in provocative, sexually provocative positions. And then you have the opposite extreme of what I came across and I'm talking about now. Which is uh, her saying things like um, colors. Mod uh, certain colors are immodest. Because... I don't know, maybe because they draw attention or whatever. And... You just, I think her idea, I ended up clicking off the video. I just, that was too much too. Because it, you know, I think if, if anything, the church needs to be a light uh, to the nation. We need to be the example of, 
uh, modesty and what's right and what's appropriate. And when you have someone who is a Christian and who in the name of being a Christian sets forth, um, I'm going to call it perverted because like I say, it's perverted on either hand, some kind of perverted standard um, that you shouldn't wear colors or bright colors or whatever because it's immodest. Like, no, that's dumb. I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't say it that way, but I just did. So I think you know what I mean. So again, I'm no fashion guru, but I am a woman of God and I do know the difference between modest and immodest. And I do not agree with the position that to be fashionable is to be immodest. That's a lie. And it's a lie that turns people away from uh, the people of God, from the house of God, when it's perpetrated in the name of the Lord or perpetuated in the name of the Lord, if that makes sense. You guys understand? You follow me? Give me, a, give me a hit the thumbs up button if you're following me. And I know this is a bit of a ramble, but that's what discussion time is. I think I'm going to start doing discussion time videos. We need to discuss. So I want you guys discussing with me in in the comment section. Do you understand what I'm trying to say, what I'm saying here? If so, put it in the comment section. What am I saying? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Put that in the comment section. Now, if you disagree, <laughs> that's fine. Just do it in a respectful manner, of course. We can have a discussion, you know. We can have dissent and all that. We just, we're not gonna be ratchet. And so anyway, I appreciate you all joining me in this discussion because am I the only one? Surely I'm not like, who notices this and who kind of feels, I guess I haven't really portrayed what I feel. I'll probably sound judgmental, but I was just upset by what I saw. But I feel in my heart for these young women, um, that's teenagers, that's young adults, and, and, and I'm 40. So people in my age range, even, who are trying to be as sexy as they can be, you know, too sexy for their shirt, too sexy for their whatever. Sexy is not, sexy should not. I think be the goal and so the so standards for beauty I think that gets into a discussion of what is beauty you know I don't think there's anything wrong with a woman putting in the effort to be beautiful and to look her best and that's in her clothing and her choice of um, hair and makeup and accessorizing and all that there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with being um, Trendy to a standard, uh, I mean, to, you know, to a point. Um, yeah. So, what am I saying? What message? I'm going to show you guys my outfit today. I think it's stylish and modest. I don't know how trendy it is. I have no idea what, what the trends are. I've never been uh, known for my fashion savvy. So... Um, I think it's cute. I pull it together. I'm gonna show you guys a little nice little outfit of the day. But anyway, and it's on Instagram. I wore it before. So I've been putting my foundation on with a brush lately. Um, in the past, I would always use um, wedges because because it's sanitary. Because I throw them away. Brushes, you know. And if I've been if I've been lazy, then I don't wash them regularly. So back to this discussion, um, what is on my heart? Like, what do I want to say to young women? Pause. Okay, this is my favorite foundation, but I've been looking around at newer foundations. This foundation is in the ballpark of $45, close to 50 with tax and all that. I want to see what else is out there that maybe isn't quite so expensive. Put that in the comment section if you have suggestions. I don't want drugstore though. Um, I'm not bougie, but I just, you know, yellow. I want what I want. Leave your comments, please, and thank you. So, what is my message to, look at that crater. These young girls, first of all, I love you. Um, if nobody else loves you, I love you. How you love me? You don't even know me. Girl, I love you with the love of the Lord. The Lord loves you. I love you. <laughs> 
No, but truly, I, I do. I have, a, that's why I'm filming this video, just in my heart. I was just like, well, somebody got to say it. It's got to be said. And I didn't really see anybody saying it. When I did find somebody who was a Christian talking about it, she was off. So, now without my glasses, I need to have this to see. So, here I am. I'm going to say it, and I hope you share this video. Maybe even use it in one of your women's group discussions. Well, I don't have women's group discussions. Well, get find some young ladies. Get them together and play this video and have a discussion afterwards. And comment below and let me know how it went in terms of a discussion. And I would say have a discussion where everyone has input, not where you're just lecturing or talking down to young women. Find out what some people are like. What, is, what was your thought? What were you thinking when you were like, I'm going to put my under, like, I'm going to put on my underwear and take a picture and put it on the World Wide Web for everybody to see. Like, for these teenagers, where was your mother? Where was your father when you were doing this? And for the older women who, I, or young, young women, not teenagers, I thought they would know. Like, I was surprised. And so one of my thoughts was when people are kind of trying to get views, sex sales views, so people are selling themselves out which to me is akin to prostitution. Am I doing the most when I say that? Do you even understand what I'm saying? You calling us prostitutes? No, I'm saying some people will do anything to get views or clicks or likes. And that's probably a whole nother discussion time, but it's definitely a part of what's going on. I think in some of these situations that I'm talking about. Have I blended well? I have to put my glasses on to see. <laughs> Comment below on that too. Like, let's discuss, people. This is discussion time. I want to know what other people think about my thoughts. Am I being too harsh? Am I too far out? Am I hitting the nail on the head? So, um, something I hear in church Something that my pastor says and his wife, um, you know, before they were saved, they were pretty wild. And uh, when Christians would come up to them trying to evangelize or win them to the Lord or whatever, they didn't look good. They didn't smell good. They were ugly. And they're like, oh, come serve Jesus so you can be like me. No, thank you. <laughs> So, I'm not saying that people should look good to win the world. What I'm saying is, as a Christian, if you believe that you have some kind of godly mandate or duty to look ugly or unattractive or off, or if you don't, you are wrong or sinful, that is a terrible doctrine and it's a false one. In my mind, in my thinking. I think that as um, Christians, it's important to know that because, you know, it's not in the Bible, it's not the Word of God, and that's what our lives should be governed by, the Bible and the Word of God. Now, the Bible says something, you do it. So anyway, I think I got off a little bit there. What am I even talking about? So, I would love to see more godly role models for these young women rise up. And the godly um, role models are not going to be, I guess, Christians of the past. The olden day, um, some of the olden day, what do you call those? Um, denominations who believe things like wearing um, clothing down to your ankle as a woman and Keeping your hair, you know, maybe pulled back into a bun or something super plain and no makeup or, you know, make at least your makeup shouldn't be lit. <laughs> no, you're not, you're not correct for one and for two, you're not winning anybody like that. What time is it? Lord, I got to get out of here. I'm going to set this powder. Y'all, if I look like I know what I'm doing, it's by the grace of God. Because I've been doing makeup for quite a while and I still have not figured out a lot. But what I'm doing right now is I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to set this highlight 
this concealer that I've used for a highlight. I'm leaning forward so that it doesn't get on my clothes. All right, let's contour. So, uh, I am going to be, you know, every, everyone needs to do her part, his or her own part. And so, I think I'm a fairly attractive woman, <laughs> in my humble opinion. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, I, I, I think that's what's, what's, what's winning over, you know, the youth and even the youth in the church of this generation and and that is when they see someone who who is attractive who is what they want to be who is beautiful who is pleasing to the eye and who is not um ho-hum bum plain jane not a man <laughs> she's a poet didn't even know it Y'all, contouring is really a guessing game for me, but I continue to do it. I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn. But again, this is not a makeup video. So, these are the thoughts that are on my mind. I've rambled enough. I think this video is long enough. So, I'm going to get off here so I can get to work. But, um, y'all chime in in the comment section. What have you been seeing? You know, without being too harsh. Don't condemn anybody to hell or anything, but... I mean, it, it's, it really pulls on your heart when, when you, not just one or two people, but so many videos that are where I'm seeing people are just trying to use, you know, showing as much body as they can and, and looking like sex in order to, I don't know, feel beautiful, get likes, get clicks, whatever. Um, and there needs to be a better standard of that. So maybe I'm seeing, I'm foreseeing a, a series come forth on confidence, self-confidence, self-esteem, value, um, knowing who you are, whose you are. So, yeah, but stay tuned. Thanks for discussing with me. Love you all. Peace. Hey, guys. So, it all came together. Um, I think I look decent, cute or whatever. But, um... I am late. I'm supposed to be at work at 8 and I left the house at 8. But it's because I love you. <laughs> Alright, so until next time, please um, rate if you like it. Don't rate if you dislike it. Comment and subscribe and share. Thank you.